Hi everyone, this is Lisa Espinosa, spiritual career coach, author, and host of the podcast Soul Studio for Your Career. So happy to be here with you for our weekly interrupter ritual. So today I want to talk about leadership. And a few videos ago, I asked the question, who are you here? Who have you come here to lead? Right? And today is a little different. I mean, it's connected to that. But it's really about asking your soul, what is the next level of leadership you're meant to step into? So when you think about leadership, it's really that you are at the forefront. You are a beacon of light. You are allowing yourself to be seen and to be heard and to be an example. It's not about thinking you're better than others or abusing leadership. I found as I've stepped more into leadership and as I've helped my clients and students do the same, that often they have a lot of fears and trauma around leadership. Often with, you know, it stems from bosses or managers or other leaders in their life that abuse their power. So a lot of times, the people that are drawn to my work, even though they have so many gifts and so much to share with the world, they hide and shy away, shy away from being fully seen, from being in the spotlight, because there's this fear of, you know, not wanting to seem better than, not wanting to seem arrogant, and, and also not wanting to be judged. Being in the spotlight can be scary. But I want to really encourage you and invite you to, as we go inside today, to ask your soul, where am I being guided to be in the spotlight, to lead, to be seen, to share your expertise, whatever that is. And it doesn't need to me, a lot of times people think expertise that that's connected to your formal training. There's some of that, but your expertise is really about your soul's medicine. Are you just this empath? that is so attuned to other people's emotions that you can really connect with them in that deep emotional level. And maybe that's part of your medicine or you're this really amazing, you know, listener, someone who can really listen and bear witness to other people's pain so that they can transmute it. Whatever it is, right? There's a lot of different forms of medicine, but if you're drawn to my work, if you're drawn to watching this transmission, your soul is nudging or pushing or encouraging you to step into the next level of leadership. And when we go inside today, when you ask your soul these questions, it's really going to be all about that. Where do you need to come out of hiding? Where is your soul saying you are ready? Be seen. Lead. There are people out there waiting to be led. Again, not from a place of being better than, but just from this place of I've walked this path before and now you can follow. I can help make your path a little easier, a little clearer to help you to share your medicine. So I want to share that on Sunday, I'm having another virtual soul Reiki. This is through Zoom conference. You can look at my link on my Instagram bio and it'll be all about activating your leadership. It's called activating your heart for leadership. So if this is something that really interests you, that you feel you're being called to step into leadership, but you have fears, blocks, burdens, even if you don't know what they are, I highly encourage you to do that. Again, that's a virtual offering. You can read all about it on my Instagram page. So wherever you are right now, I invite you to close your eyes or just look into my eyes and take some nice cleansing breaths. And as you do that, really connect with your body, connect with your lower body, your hips, your knees, your feet, the earth underneath you, feeling so grounded. As you bring the palms of your hands over your heart center, knowing that your heart is the entryway to your soul, knowing, remembering that communicating with your soul is the most natural thing. It is your birthright. It doesn't require fancy equipment or fancy training. And just breathing into your beautiful heart, your soul, your leader, right? Your soul. And in this space, you're going to ask a few questions, knowing that your soul always answers you. And it's okay if you don't hear the answers in this moment. So first question, beautiful soul. Where in my career are you guiding me to lead? Where in my career 
are you guiding me to lead? Again, where in my career are you guiding me to lead? And then beautiful soul, are there any burdens around leadership that you are guiding me to release? Are there any burdens around leadership that you are guiding me to release? Again, are there any burdens around leadership that you are guiding me to release? And as you ask that question, just feel your soul filling your heart with light as it starts to remove, right? Remove wounding or maybe just bringing into your awareness that there's some wounding, some trauma, some old baggage around leadership that your soul is saying it's time to let that go so that you can step into leadership so that you can step into the spotlight and then finally asking beautiful soul what message are you guiding me to share with those that i am called to lead again what message are you guiding me to share with those that I am called to lead. Again, what message are you guiding me to share with those that I am being called to lead? And just let your heart fill with your soul's answers. Remembering your soul always, always answers you. With deep gratitude, bringing the palms of our hands together as we bow to each other and to our own beautiful heart. And we end with a namaste. Namaste, everyone. All right, so I wanna pull a card for you. And again, I wanna remind you that whenever you ask your soul a question, your soul always answers. But again, when you ask, sometimes you your ego gets in the way. So just be open to receiving the guidance, right? This is all about leadership, about stepping into your, the spotlight. And if you want to receive more healing and clarity around this, I, I totally would love to see you on Sunday. And it's a virtual offering over Zoom. So you don't even have to be there live, but you can. It's 10 to 11 a.m. Go to my bio link and you can see it there. I think it's only $33. And you can hear it over and over and over again. And I have to say, I've done like seven of these and every time it's more amazing. And I'm not saying that, you know, this arrogant way, like I'm so amazing, but it's like when we show up, and we say, yes, soul, work through me, divine work through me, miracles happen. And that's my commitment to you this year and moving forward is to really keep saying yes to my soul so and to the divine so that whatever healing is meant to come through me will come through me. And, and I know that I am here to lead leaders, to help those of you, especially those of you who are highly sensitive, tender souls who are so powerful and often just dismiss your own power because of that. All right, so let's see what, this is from the Soulful Woman Oracle deck. Let's see what card is here for you. Soul's Journey. Living from soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. Look at this. So surrender to your beautiful soul. She is your wise leader, your wise, wise leader. And ask her for guidance around your leadership and your, um, yeah, just 2020 is all about coming out of hiding, coming into the clarity of that 2020 vision so that you can be seen to be transparent. You don't need to be perfect, just true, just honest, just authentic and vulnerable. And um, yeah, I love connecting with you and I hope to see you Sunday, see you virtually on Sunday and monday i'll have a facebook live and i have a spring equinox event coming there's so many things coming and i wish you the best